You treat me good, Doctor. Tell me, who will take the blame for your murders now that I'm dead? Good evening, Rufus. Evening, Mr. Reed. You seem happier than before. I live with Mrs. Fishburne now, in her house. I have a bed and everything. So how is your new life going? Good. I have a roof over my head and warm meals. Mrs. Fishburne is the best. But she's so sad. I hear her crying at night. Even if she did take you in, Mrs. Fishburne lost her son, who she loved very much. I know, but it makes me feel funny. I should feel bad for being here after Seymour died, not happy. Try to help her as much as she helps you, Rufus. Help each other through the grief. Mrs. Fishburne has been like a mother to me, and it's my turn to help her the best I can. Tell me your feelings about Seymour's death, Rufus. I am sad for Mrs. Fishburne, not for her dead son. I was afraid of him and his threats. I don't think a lot of people will miss him. I'm so sorry about your loss, Mrs. Fishburne. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Could you check Rufus's health for me, please? I've been taking care of this young nipper since my poor Seymour died. Very well. But why so nervous? Even if he lives with me now, Rufus still spends too much time outside. He grew up in the streets, you see, and he's kept his old habits. I'd like to know more about your son's death, Stella. I was so afraid to see Seymour arrested and executed that I never thought about him being murdered. As sad as his fate may have been, at least you'll avoid the shame of a trial. Justice or vengeance? Street justice is not right. In the end, Seymour avoided being judged for what he did. Does that not disturb you, Stella? For months, my greatest fear was to see my son being arrested and hanged. Now that he's dead, no one will ever know. Do you believe your son could have avoided being caught forever? I have no idea. Sometimes I, I felt like he was becoming more and more careless. Perhaps he wanted to be caught. So, you live here with Rufus now? And how is everything? Yeah. We both had our share of tragedy. But I suppose it's a relief not to be alone in life. Did Rufus talk to you about his past? I knew the boy had a hard time in the streets, but I had no idea how miserable he really was. And I suspect he won't tell me all that he remembers. Should I have turned my Seymour in? Was my crime to love my son? Rufus! Rufus, what happened to you? Leave me be! Rufus, calm down. It's me, Dr. Reed. What's got you scared? No! You should leave me alone. Otherwise, it'll hurt you too. What are you talking about? They're all dead. Stella, Jack, and it'll be me soon enough. Tell me everything you can about Seymour Fishburne's behavior. I know he can be violent. Seymour killed Jack, my rat, while smiling at me. And then he cleaned his hands on my jacket and he left. I think... I think he killed his mother. Did you do anything that made him mad enough to kill Jack? I told him I've cried a lot since his ma died. Seymour said I had no right. He said he cried more than me. Then he killed Jack. Seymour may be savage, but even he wouldn't kill his own mother. He will not forgive me after what I said. Just... I'm so scared. You really loved Miss Fishburne, did you not? Yes, I did. She was like a mother to me. So nice and so sweet. But she died before I had a chance to tell her I loved her. I'm sure she knew you loved her, Rufus. It won't cheer me up, you know. It's too late. I've lost everything, again. 
I really am Rufus the Curse. Good evening, Seymour. Oh, look who's back. The good Dr. Reed. Ain't you got anyone else to annoy? Some other life to save, perhaps. You need to calm down, sir. Don't you dare order me around. She's dead. And it's my fault. It's all my fault. Tell me, why do you think your mother's death is your fault? I can't be the one who did that, can I? I would never do that to her, not like this. I loved my mum, Doc. Loved her. I believe you. But you can't deny you hurt her more than anyone. Is this some sort of punishment for what I did? Should I not have told her what's inside me? I needed her out. Your mother could not help you the way you wanted her to. Her love for you and the horror of your crimes tore her apart. I've already got so much blood on my hands. But not my mum's. No. Never hers. Do you think you can cause such misery without paying a price? I don't. You share the guilt of her death, Seymour. Your words hurt, Dr. Reed. They hurt so much I could get angry. Very angry. But I'm too upset to give you what you deserve. Even after your poor mother died, you still bully and frighten young Rufus. Why? Why not? As long as that little maggot's getting on my fucking nerves, I'll keep on. And that's just how it is. Can I be of assistance? She went and died before I got the chance to give the proper expression of my love. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'd found the most beautiful necklace for my mum. But I lost it. I lost her. And now I've got nothing. So what they said about me was true. I really was Rufus the Curse, destined to suffer until I die. Good evening, Mr. Fishman. I ain't got no desire for chit-chat, sir. Everything turned to shit when my mum heard about a stupid fucking orphan's death. That boy had a name. And now you talk just like her. You knew that the late Rufus Kingsbury was very fond of your mother, didn't you? Sure. Mum even told me once that the little cockroach reminded her of me. Fucking charming. You seem hurt by their bond. Can you believe I was going to pay for that boy's funeral? Then my own mother cries about how she loved Rufus more than me. Fuck this shit. So you hate your mother now? How dare you? I love my mum. I love her more than anything else. I could kill for her. Understand? You think so highly of yourself, Mr. Fishburne. You have no room for compassion in your heart. Yeah, maybe you're right, Doc. But I didn't kill that boy. And it ain't fair to put the little bugger's death on me. How are you, Mrs. Fishburne? Well, not well, Doctor. Rufus has been murdered. I'm afraid these streets finally got him. Please, why does the boy's demise affect you so? He was so innocent and so unlucky. Do you know he was called Rufus the Curse by some? Until recently, I didn't believe in curses myself. But clearly the boy was born under a bad sign. What with the epidemic and all, I wasn't even allowed to give him a proper funeral. Oh, Rufus. I'm so sorry. Did you know that Rufus was bullied by your son, just like most of your neighbors? I truly believed that Seymour would never hurt someone I cared about. Can't believe I was so wrong. Seymour is ill-tempered and dangerous, but I doubt he murdered the young Rufus. You may be right, but you have no proof. And I know for sure he is not innocent of other crimes. What actions will you take? I want explanations first hearing from his mouth the reason for his actions, and then I will make up my mind. <laughs>